Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Moton with Marketing Resolution, and this is another video in the series of idle chat conversations for the American Bar Association's Section for Dispute Resolution. Today, I get to talk to a colleague in Maryland, Carrie Jacobson in the Mar um, Baltimore, D.C. kind of neighborhood. How are you, Carrie? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing really well. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much for joining me for an idle chat. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. So I know you've seen some of the videos. You know how it goes. We shuffle up the cards. The cards will tell us what we're going to talk about. Lots of scientific <laughs> processes go into these idle chats, I tell you what. All right. The luck of First the draw. Card. Yes, well. <laughs> that you know my, my my folks in the lab were busy putting this together <laughs> carrie are you a sports fan somewhat of a sports fan i don't follow quite as closely as others in my household but it, it is always on in the background <laughs> that I, that definitely qualifies what kind of sports are you watching well i would say the primary sport that is watched in our household are is hockey um but we also have American football, um, and um, sometimes baseball. All American family. I like yep. it. <laughs> All right. Carrie, what is the best sandwich? Oh, the best sandwich. I would have to say the Chick-fil-A original uh, chicken sandwich. I've never had one. <laughs> Quite lovely, but though I don't get pickles. I'll have to put it on my list. <laughs> Carrie, what is the oldest thing that you own? Oldest thing that I own. I have a, um, probably a collection of cards that I have received over the years. Holiday cards, birthday cards, that sort of thing. Um, a family tradition that those things are things that you keep and so I have a shoebox of uh cards greeting cards oh lovely I like that tradition a lot good for yeah. you all right let's see oh since you're a sports fan you might be able to answer this one Carrie what sport could you play the longest in a televised game without anyone discovering that you're not really a professional athlete I would say I, it would have to be probably softball. That was the, the sport that I played the longest in my career. Yeah. Easiest for you. All right. Let's see. Next card reads, what question or questions would you like to ask a time traveler who's visiting us from 200 years in the future? Um, what? question would I ask someone 200 years in the future? Um, let's see. I would ask how they have been able to keep the planet going, like with, you know, climate change and all. That's not a small question. That's a good, right. that's a good one. I like that one a lot. Uh, are you prone to quoting movies? No. No, not at all. Well, then I'm not going to ask you the question. <laughs> it was going to be, what's your favorite movie quote, but that's all right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Carrie, where is the most uncomfortable place you've ever slept? Most uncomfortable place. I am very fortunate that I can sleep just about anywhere. <laughs> I have the uncanny ability to sleep just about anywhere. I would say the most uncomfortable would probably be um, on the floor. Well, I'm very jealous of people like you. I do not <laughs> have a skill set, not even remotely. Yes, it's, it's very helpful to have, especially with kids. <laughs> oh, so jealous. All right. Uh, Carrie, what is the coolest or most interesting animal you've seen in the wild? in the wild um i would say probably a giraffe 
That yeah. is very cool indeed. Yeah. All right. Um, Carrie, who is the most creative person you know? The most creative person. I would say that that is probably my daughter. <laughs> um, she does a very good job of coming up with, she's very artsy. She also can create lots of Lego things. I am a typical uh, type A person and I need instructions. Um, so, so she is probably the most creative. Well, a little balance always helps yeah. <laughs> to have those people around. Uh, next question, very serious. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. <laughs> I mean, not like there's a wrong answer on idle chat. But right, I, but I don't right like answer. mustard. I want to like mustard, but I don't really enjoy mustard. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you, by any chance, eat food that is past its uh, expiration date if it still smells and looks fine? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. As long as it's not growing mold and it doesn't smell bad, perfectly okay. I feel like it's a suggested date. <laughs> That's how I view it. Yeah. Love me a free thinker. Good for you. Um, Carrie, if someone narrated your life story, who would be the narrator? Oh. Who would I want to be the narrator? <laughs> it, uh, only because I love the sound of his voice, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Not that it fits with me, but it's because I love the sound of his voice. There's a there are a few really iconic voices in the world, and his is definitely one of Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Good choice. All right. And Carrie, I'll ask you the same question I ask all of my guests as the last question in idle chat uh, videos. And that is what do you love most about the work that we get to do in the resolution industry? I appreciate seeing couples who are separating and divorcing really look out for the other person. Um, you know, because of the private mediation work that I do, I get to see the best in those couples. And it's really heartwarming that even in when they're going through this difficult time and they've chosen to separate and divorce, that they really want to make sure that the other person is set up for success. That is an uncommonly nice thing to witness. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Well, Carrie Jacobson, thank you so much for joining me for an idle chat. I really appreciate you letting all of us get to know you a little bit better. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. All right.